Today we have with us Robert Hayes, CEO of Sharps Technology. Robert, thank you for being here. No, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Sales of the first 1.3 million units of your new safety syringe product are now underway. The near-term commercialization of your pre-fillable syringe product lines is expected to accelerate revenue growth in 2023 and beyond. Let's start with an overview of those rapidly expanding operations. The IPO that we completed in April of 22 helped us raise the funds to allow us to purchase the manufacturing facility in Europe, which gave us a great opportunity to begin manufacturing in late 22 and continue the scale up into 23. So as you know, we've shipped product here to the United States for sale that will begin in Q2 of this year. And so we're really excited about getting those products into the market here in the United States. As also announced in late 22, we completed a collaboration agreement with Nephron Pharmaceuticals, which will give us a manufacturing facility here in the United States for the specialized copolymer uh, prefillable syringes, which opens up that opportunity for us here. Robert, syringes, ubiquitous in every single doctor's office in the world. How big is the market opportunity you and the team are addressing? Yeah, that's the great news. Um, the healthcare industry is, uh, is really a, a, a nice place to be as a startup company. Uh, when you look at syringes, there's many different platforms. The two platforms that we're going to work with are the smart safety disposable syringes. And when you look at that, it's estimated right now to be just over $7 billion um, USD. And when you look at pre-fillable syringes with the specialized copolymers and glass products, it's well over $6 billion USD. So really nice market space for us. Uh, we plan to compete in very niche markets within those um, opportunities and create the, the customer base that, that we can work with. Now, within that gigantic market, I want to know about the business model. How do you make money? Yeah, so that's where the partnerships come key. So the opportunity to purchase our own facility was one thing, but the opportunity to partner and collaborate with a large healthcare company here in the United States really is going to be transformative for our company and allow us to move forward. So uh, with the facility in Hungary, we'll be able to produce in a low cost manufacturing environment, our smart safety syringe technology. And through the distribution and sales agreement that we have with Nephron, we'll be able to target well over 3000 customers uh, that they work with um, every day. And then with the manufacturing facility here in South Carolina to produce the high value products uh, pre-fillable, uh, we'll be able to produce those in a low cost opportunity in South Carolina, collaborating with Nephron, and it creates a, a specialized opportunity for us to begin to offer our products to the market in the second half of 23. You've been mentioning Nephron. We know how important it is to Sharps. Let's elaborate on that partnership with Nephron. Tell us more. Yeah, so Nephron, um, that agreement that we have with Bill and Lou Kennedy, um, who, who own Nephron Pharmaceuticals, is really transformative for our company. It's going to move us forward um, against our operation and sales plan probably by two years or more. Um, the opportunity to co-manufacture high-value products, the pre-fillable syringes with the specialized technology and sizes, is one thing, but also the opportunity to use their uh, 3PL distribution sales teams and their online portal with access to 3,000 customers allows us to create these commercial opportunities that'll take place really quickly. The, the parts that probably haven't been talked about as much, but that are significant, is that you know partnering with Nephron, it gives us the opportunity to have immediate sales. So Nephron needs these products, Customers like Nephron need these products, so the opportunity to make and sell will be right away, and which is going to help us. And then the opportunity to expand. So the facility there in South Carolina has about 45 million pieces of capacity. We can expand um, with an additional 100 million pieces of capacity as we need to to grow this space here in the United States. So, you know, when you look at it uh, all the way through and, and what they're asking us to do to help them, it really, really will change our company. Robert, let's look at that pre-fillable syringe, so important to Sharps. 
it could really be a game changer, not just for sharks, but for the medical industry. What makes it unique compared to the competition? Yeah, so these specialized copolymer syringes in the pre-fillable formats allow us to make products that compete with the traditional glass syringe. Um, the copolymers have a lot of the same types of properties from the standpoint of working with different types of products. Um, and then the opportunity to customize them with copolymers and injection molding technologies allows you to create different configurations which allow you to target different niche markets more effectively. And so the copolymer you know, eliminates the breakage, gives you the stability, um, allows you to um, really target segments of the market that have been difficult for glass syringes over the many years. And then offering up the copolymers in the, what I would call specialized sizes. So it's not just gonna be one product. We'll have products that start in the one ML size, the five ML size, the 10 ML size, all the way up to 50 ML. And so offering the platform with the different sizes, offering the platform with different technologies like silicone free and dual chamber, really give us an opportunity to, um, I guess, differentiate ourselves in the market um, somewhat from, from people that maybe offer one or two types of products. Robert, management is the key to any company and especially smaller cap companies. Who are some of the key players on the Sharps team? We're fortunate to have um, really strong leadership, both at the board level and um, at the management level. Uh, we recently announced um, several key additions to my team. Justin Page, who will be the VP of operations for us, supporting the, the technical uh, and engineering aspects of the startup at South Carolina for Nephron and for us. So Justin, Justin Page and I've worked together before. Um, he has a very strong engineering, plastics engineering background. And so he'll be beneficial to us for that operation. Uh, Braden Miller um, is an expert in the, the product design and product development space. Again, we work together in our past uh, in specialized packaging. And so he'll be leading the efforts for all of these specialized technologies that we're gonna bring forward. Uh, Jill Eisenhower, who is the, the person I brought over to help lead the, the quality systems and um, what I would call field quality engineering aspects of our business, where we work with customers directly at their sites, uh, making sure that they get the right products. We spec out everything that needs to be done for them. Um, she and I have worked together in our past. Um, she's worked with big names like Pfizer and Merck and others. And so she has a lot of real practical experience dealing with the customer base that we're going to target. The guy that's really you know, exciting for us is, is a gentleman who has um, an Italian background, Filippo Filippe. Uh, he is the general manager running the operation in Hungary and his team. I got a chance to meet them shortly after I joined Sharps. And it's really exciting the expertise that he brings and his team brings and what they're doing with that facility in Hungary to get it all started up. So he's worked on, on several different continents across a handful of different companies doing this type of work. So we're really fortunate to have him and his team helping us get going. In summary, Robert, what's the essential value proposition? Why should investors take an interest in Sharps right now? There's several reasons. One, we just talked about the, the strong management team and the, the capabilities that they bring, but the, the partnership with Nephron Pharmaceuticals, you know, they're one of the largest 503B and pharmaceutical filling companies in the United States. To have them as a partner, um, not only in the co-manufacturing, but in all aspects of our business is really gonna um, change our company. And then you're bringing forward these specialized um, platforms for pre-fillable syringes. Like we mentioned, you know, that is going to accelerate everything that we're trying to do and move us into the, what I would call the high value proposition portion of the space. Uh, for healthcare drug delivery. And then, you know, the, the opportunity to go from pre-revenue to revenue in our second year is, is significant. So having products that are approved by the FDA, um, that have the CE mark, that are approved by the WHO, having products that we can sell across the two different platforms this year, um, and then generating revenue, and then moving into, um, you know, uh, earnings later this year in early 24, is really going to change our company. And I think, you know, the appeal there is 
We have the specialized technology, we've got the partnership with customers, and we have the right product configurations, you know, that are going to be managed by the leadership team that I've brought in. So it's really exciting. We definitely agree, Robert, and it is a fascinating story. Thank you for sharing it with us. No, thanks for having me.